um, today I am here to show you a new demonstration called uh, Twilio integration how you can send the information uh, through the Twilio application to the service uh, from the service node to the Twilio application okay for that we already integrated our uh, API okay and uh, in this out of box instance this is just for a demonstration if you would like to see or like to know how we can how we did that please uh, feel free to contact us through the whatsapp number and that is i um, will be posted into the description okay so this is the form we created and this form you can see that uh, the pip uh, the user external user uh, we call that external user here you can put the username first last name email address phone number and the status will be by default enrolled and the short description okay you can put those information here and based on this information like this uh, information uh, like short description and phone number will notify that user like um, whatever phone number you will be uh, put here that user will be notified through that short description or message that you want to pass okay so first for the steps you can create the user information so once you create the user information it will not send any message to that um, user okay but when you open this user information from the right side whatever user you created previously okay so there you can see uh, we have a field called status field okay from the status once you change to the notify state and submit that we have a business rule from the business rule I uh, will trigger our API and will send the notification to our user that number phone number uh, provided here okay so let's just click the save button here and you will be see that one message in your top that uh, updated but you can see um, sorry I, I missed the point so once we click the notify and then click the update button the user will be notified okay so just click that uh, update so you can see user is notified via SMS so user is notified via SMS now if I go to the external user or maybe let's first go back to that our um, create user information you can see that previously it was enrolled but status get changes to the notify so status get changes to the notify now if I go to here okay I can see um, that one record is created so and here is that all these uh, details are present which is through which that a page is triggered okay so that's all about you can uh, if you want to know that how we do that you just ping me in the whatsapp we'll do that okay thank you very much have a great day